I made sure to get a present together for my grandkids for making it into that school. <laughs> I've got them all building block sets that they've been asking for, as well as some games and toys that they can play when they have free time. Oh, but your son isn't going to be getting anything, as I really hate you and view him as a stranger. So when I bring all these gifts out to the rest of the kids, make sure your son doesn't scream and cry calling it unfair. Because it is. <laughs> I really don't care about you hating me, but could you leave my kid out of it? He hasn't done anything wrong and isn't even old enough to hurt you, even if he wanted to. Leave your kid out of it? But isn't that your kid, your son of all people? Then wouldn't that mean all the things he has to go through are your fault? What do you mean by that? My son hasn't done anything wrong to deserve your crap. But you have, and that's why your son is going to have to pay for it as well. <laughs> Again with this? I have not been using any of Jack's savings for myself. That is just him making crap up about me so that I look like the bad guy. Why can't you just accept the things I have been saying and stop treating your son like a spoiled brat? So, Elena, you're calling Jack a liar now? How terrible. Not only have you been stealing all of his money, but now you're going to paint him as a liar? And to think I was so proud of my son for getting married to you so many years ago. I thought he found himself a trophy wife. Considering how gorgeous you look on the outside, and how well you seem to cook. But now, I am really starting to see your true colors. And boy, are they nasty. <laughs> Stop saying that. I have not been stealing anything from Jack. And I'm not this nasty woman you keep making yourself think I am. Could a liar like you please shut up? This has to mean that your son is a liar as well, right? Which means, I want you both to go home now. I don't want you two unethical freaks in my house anymore. <laughs> as you know, my family is something that I must protect, as the head of the family, after all. And when there are two liars like you trying to cause havoc for all the rest of us, you're really making me look like a bad person. What? How dare you say that about my son? He's only six years old for crying out loud. And when it comes to a liar, it doesn't matter what age they are. Also, what is that other man you brought here all about? Don't tell me that he's your secret boyfriend, and you're feeling bold enough to bring him to see your husband's family. Just like I had explained to you a second ago, he's my little brother. As a part of my family, I wanted to bring him out here to say hi and introduce himself to you. And actually, he was the one that first said that he wanted to see what Jack's family was all about. I don't want to learn about a dirty man like that. No, thank you. <laughs> you take that man back with you as well, please. Considering that he's your little brother... That must make him a liar as well, right? What the hell did I even do to deserve all this? Why do I have to be treated like I'm nothing more than a deceiving animal in this family? You have to understand more than anyone else what you did to end up there, right? Now, you better start thanking me for even bringing you out to this family gathering, you thief. Aren't you happy that you were able to eat with the rest of your family today? <laughs> well, consider this the last time I invite you to a family gathering now. The only reason you asked me to come out here today, to be around the rest of the family, is so that you could complain about me in front of all of them, right? You wanted a crowd in front of you, so that all your complaints, and then jokes about me could be heard, and you'd have your pride grow even larger, right? I never married Jack wanting to join a family like this, and I can't believe it took me almost a decade to realize that you're all nothing more than egotistical trash. Well, excuse me, how dare you say something like that about me? Even if you can't see it, I've invited you here out of kindness. <laughs> you think I'd ever have my son come to a family gathering like this one without his wife and son? You all needed to be here. And as you could tell by the way he was laughing at you earlier, he loves the way I treat you guys. <laughs> I've had enough of this. I'm heading back to my place right now. Please, go back to your home right now and take that disgusting son and brother of yours with you. I'm never going to forgive you for all of this. Hey, Elena, are we really going home now? After everything that's happened here already? We are. If we have to stay here any longer, I'm going to start feeling really bad for Cameron. Also, aren't you being bothered by the way my mother-in-law is acting? Both her and my husband seem to think you're just as bad as my husband has led my mother-in-law into thinking I am. You know, actually, I'm not bothered at all by the way they pick on me. Because I don't give a crap about any of these losers. So honestly, I'm enjoying myself pretty well. They have at least let us eat some of this really nice food, right? <laughs> now, if you're going to leave this gathering without even doing or saying anything, that's going to cause the most problems for everyone, right? 
Are you trying to walk off with your tail tucked between your legs today? Because that's not like you at all. And you should be coming out here with me to fight back at these assholes. There's no reason for you to want to stay here anymore, right? I get that you have something up your sleeve for some of these people, but there are kids here, and I don't want Cameron seeing his uncle getting all crazy. Maybe later on you can take my husband out for drinks or something and give him a talking to then. Damn it! What the hell is wrong with this whole family? I see that your mother-in-law is quite the bitch that you were telling me about. But your husband isn't any better, is he? Which is crazy considering how much of a weakling he was the first time I met him. When Jack is in front of all his family and friends, he starts to act all tough like that. In the past, he seemed to be doing really good for himself, and everyone would always spoil him for that. And when it comes to his mother, she'll listen to anything he says to her without thinking twice about it. So then the both of them are complete idiots. Gross. But the funny thing is... Jack left his job and is now unemployed, right? And when I say left his job, I mean he got fired for being a hopeless idiot in that company who couldn't even understand that his job was on the line months in advance when he could get chewed out by everyone there. And now he's having to live off all the money you're making, right? What the hell does he think he's doing acting all high and mighty like that when he's having to live off his wife's income after being fired for being useless? Right now his mother doesn't know that he's unemployed and she also doesn't know about how I'm the one paying all the bills at home and I'm the one giving her a monthly allowance right now. She really has no clue about anything, and that has to do primarily with Jack always lying about everything. And Jack is trying to keep things that way between her and us, until the day he dies. What a childish bastard he is. I'm going to vomit over how gross those two really are as mother and son. How dare he act all kind towards you at home, only to put you down like he has been the moment he comes home to all of his family. What an asshole. I know. Jack has also been going to his mother for money lately, that he can go out and play with, and he gets her to give him some by lying and saying that I've been stealing all of his savings. And that is why I'm being viewed as the enemy now by the whole family. Why the hell are you letting things stay like that, Elena? You just need to tell everyone the truth right now. I have been trying to, but not a single person is going to believe what I say. Just like I was saying, everyone in this family spoils the hell out of Jack, which means they will all choose to trust him over me. Jeez, why the hell have you been hiding all this from me? You should have come to me early about all this asking me what to do. But Thomas, by bringing all of this up with you, things are only going to become a lot more complicated, right? Don't worry about it. I'm going to get a divorce from Jack, and then I'm going to cut ties to all these clowns in his family. That would just be you letting them win, wouldn't it? They'd all continue to think of you and call you a liar, right? Also, I'm not going to let you just run away from them all right now without getting a little payback for what they've all done to you and Cameron. <sighs> I knew something like this was going to happen, and that's why I didn't want to bring you along. Cameron is here as well, and I didn't want you to make a huge deal out of all of this. Everything's going to be fine. I promise to show you just how well I can protect both you and Cameron. Which is why we need to start thinking right here and now how we're going to strike back at these bastards. Don't worry about a thing, please. I'm telling you that I can take care of a lot of things here, as long as you trust me. I'm happy to hear that you want to protect us so much, but I'm still not sure about all of this. I will not let assholes like this lot get away with picking on you all they want thinking that they can do it without repercussions. I appreciate and respect you too much to allow that kind of crap. So please let me do something about this. You appreciate and respect me. You really don't have to care about me that much, Thomas. You were the only pair to have most of my life though. Which means the only choice I have is to care about all of that. Thomas, thank you so much. Excuse me, Lilia. Why are you being so cruel towards my son by ignoring him when he's been trying to wave and say hi to you? Can't you at least wave back at him and act like you care when we run into one another like this while being out and about? Huh? Why do I have to wave at a couple of strangers like you're asking me to? <laughs> I told you before that I want nothing to do with lying little children like the son you have there, right? But Cameron has told me how much he loves you. Why can't you see that every time he calls out saying Grammy to you? Ignoring him like that is only going to make him feel worse, you know? Don't you feel bad for doing such a thing? Not one bit. He's a stranger to me after all. When it comes to how strangers like him are feeling, I don't really care. <laughs> Th there's no way. I can't believe what I'm hearing from you right now. Well, if we're both just strangers to you, then forget about your monthly allowance. What? There's no reason for people to be giving an allowance of money every month to a complete stranger, right? So I'm going to stop sending you that money I've been sending each month. Oh, what do you think you're going on about? The one who has been sending me all this money has been my son. There's no way you can decide whether to stop doing that or not. I have been explaining things to you many times. No, about that. But let me say this one last time in the hopes of getting something through to you. 
I have been sending you that money in Jack's place for a while now. Right now, your son is unemployed and has not had an income. And like I've said, who do you think is going to believe such a baseless lie as that one? For Christ's sake, this is what I've been saying when labeling you a liar. <laughs> All right, then. Go ahead and don't believe anything I'm telling you right now. But don't worry, because today I've made sure to bring along some evidence with me. Evidence? What is... What is all of this, Elena? I made sure to take an audio recording of the conversation I had with your son while at our house. And you can hear him saying it all clear as day right there, right? He tells me to get each month's allowance ready for you. And if I don't, he's going to start doubting me. Wait. I know what he said in that recording. But this has to be something you've just made up, right? Something I've just made up. But you can tell by the way he speaks and acts that he is your son, Jack, right? How do you think I could have gone about making something like this up? I'm sure you just went out and found someone who sounds like Jack and used them to play out a scenario where he says all those things to you. If that wasn't the case, then this would be all too strange. How could someone like Jack be unemployed at the moment? Lilia, I get that you don't want to accept the reality that I've shown you about your son and all, but I've shown you the audio I recorded from one of our conversations, so there's no way you can still doubt everything I'm saying. I have been the one behind all of that money you've received each and every month. And the one who has been paying all the bills and everything at home is me. But whenever Jack comes over to my house asking to borrow some money, he told me about you. He goes on about how you're using up all of his savings and that he really has him on edge. He's even crying when he says all of that to me. I am not going to think of all those tears as a part of a lie. You can't see them as lies because you've spoiled the son of a bitch for too long now. No, I haven't. He is a perfect kid who can never lie like that to anyone. And he's such a nice kid that he's even willing to forgive you still for going through and stealing all his savings. Alright, I get it. So you're going to just label all of this evidence I have for you as made up, right? Yes. That's what I'm going to say about it all until the day I die. There's no way I'm letting his own wife call him a liar like you've been. Then I'm going to start sending this recording to other members of the family. What? Not only are they all family of Jack's, but they also happen to be more judgmental of you when it comes to him. Wait, hold on a moment. You don't have to do all of that. Stop it. Why shouldn't I do all of this? If all of this evidence was faked by me, then they should all be smart enough to tell that about it as well, right? I understand that, but, but I don't want any of them to get the wrong idea from it. And some of this could affect Jack's image. So please, stop trying to make such a big deal out of everything. Nope because my image has been badly damaged by the both of you for a long time now. So there's really no reason for me to stop now. Hey, I will forgive you for everything I said about you before, so please stop. I do not want people going around saying and showing things that would make the rest of this family stop trusting him. I'm not going to stop, Lilia. In the past, I asked you to stop making fun of me and treating my son like crap, yet you never once did, did you? I didn't really care that you were harassing me. But when you started to say things about Cameron, and then about my little brother, you really crossed the line. And when I realized that Jack was right there with you making fun of the three of us like that, I lost all the faith I ever had in the man. So forget about trying to stop me now. I told you I'd apologize for all of that. And besides, if you start showing that kind of harmful evidence about my son, then it's only going to come back around to you, and more people are going to hate you for it, right? First of all, none of this is a lie. So it's not like they will really have any reason to hate me anymore for it. Also, whichever way you try and look at all of this, most of the family already hates me to the core, so I can't be seen as any worse for this. I'm seen as the devil for having gone and used all my husband's savings like you've told them all to believe. What do you want me to do that will get you to stop? I'm really sorry, but there is nothing you can do to get me to stop. I am past that point of being convinced. What? Would you just stop talking about getting me to stop doing this already? I have already made up my mind, and will make sure that the rest of the family hears this recording. It's already too late for you anyway, to be honest. I made sure to send them all this evidence before I even started talking with you, because I knew this would happen. You... what have you done? Now everyone is going to view Jack as being a massive liar. Well, he has been lying to everyone, so it can't be helped that he'll be labeled such a thing. Honestly, I think that name suits him pretty well. As calling me a liar, even though I never once lied, didn't really sit right with me. You... you bitch! All right then, so you're trying to get my whole family to view me as the enemy now. Even though I'm the head of the family, and I'm in charge of everyone in it. What do you think you're trying to pick a fight with the head of the family? I don't care who you are. What? 
What is your crazy behavior today? Well, so be it. I happen to have someone that can handle all of this for me. I'm not sure what's going to happen to you next. So I'd prepare yourself for the worst. Are you threatening me now? All I'm saying is, I don't know what'll happen to you next. <laughs> so please, prepare yourself for the worst if that makes you feel the most comfortable. Hey, you old bitch. What the hell are you trying to do? You really think you're doing the right thing by hiring some muscle to come out and attack my older sister like that? <laughs> Your older sister? So you must be Elena's little brother then. I saw what happened with my own eyes. You went in and tapped that man I hired and almost turned him into a pope. That right there is a perfect crime that I'll have you sent to prison for. I made sure to take a video of everything of the matter. Sure. Go ahead and give that to the police. What? You're telling me you took a video of two massive men coming up to my sister and grabbing her by the wrist, only to have me come in and kick both of their asses, right? <laughs> I would love for you to upload that onto the internet if you could, please. I'd love to see what everyone has to say about it. <laughs> you? What the hell is wrong with you? Anyway, I had a good talk with one of those men you had come out to try and assault my sister. They don't have anything to do with you, besides the money you paid them to come out here and kill my sister. What? Was it really that simple for you to get two men to try and kill her? Well, if that's how you want to play these games, then we'll see what happens to you. <laughs> I have a lot more people like those two. I'm serious. Just this time I had to hire some extra hands was all. Is that right? You must have a lot of pride to be saying things like that about a crime you committed. <laughs> then send some of those men of yours out here to fight me, instead of two men you just paid to come here. I'll make sure to show them as well that I mean business. Ha <laughs> So all you seem to think about is violence then. What do you two think you're doing, acting all tough, when you were nothing more than low lives? Nothing more than low lives? I'm right, aren't I? Compared to my family and I, you all are nothing more than a couple of moneyless low lives. There was never a moment where I even thought that my son should be getting married to someone like your low life sister. I suppose you shouldn't have, considering that all your son is, is a lying spoiled brat who has nothing to show for now. My sister is a woman who stepped in to raise me after the both of our parents died a long time ago. Your son and her nothing alike. <laughs> what? Seeing all of you filth looking down upon my sister like you guys are all that much better than her really begins to show just what kind of bugs are crawling around inside your heads. You think you're something because you're the head of your house? All that ever happened was you getting born into that family, woman. You're way too old now to be acting all tough just because your parents happen to be known as some very tough gang leaders. That makes you quite the blow life yourself, doesn't it? <laughs> what the hell? How dare you talk to me in such a way, you rotten garbage? Of course I'll talk with you like this. I mean, I'm having to talk to a smelly old bitch that thinks she's some kind of queen. <laughs> now, I'm going to leave the rest of my sister. And just know, however many more men you send after her, it's not going to make a difference. I'm going to protect her to my last breath. <coughs> Who the hell is that hoodlum you have working for you? Are you not embarrassed of a man like that as your little brother? No. I'm not going to take that from some old bitch who thinks they can hire two hoodlums to come out and beat me to death. He's my little brother and I love him with all my heart. What? The kind of violent man. My parents both passed away when him and I were very young. And ever since then, I made sure to take their place raising him whichever way I could. But even though I was trying my best to be like a mother to him, there was still a lot of troubles we had. And at one point, he went through a period of being a bit reckless. And that's when he learned to fight. He didn't just learn to fight like that while being a little reckless, though. He took down two men twice his size. I'm sure he may not look the part under all his baggy clothing, but my brother has been training a lot recently in order to make sure I stay safe. He wasn't going to lose to a couple of steroid-using dumbasses. Hey, do you think you can keep what all just happened a secret from the rest of the family? What was that? Did I just hear some little bitch whining about not wanting to have all of this exposed? You know what I want, right? About what just happened with those two men and your brother. There was a lot to take in. I may have taken things a bit too far there, and I apologize for it. You're only apologizing now because I wasn't beaten to a pulp today by them, right? Well, that's not going to work on me. I'm going to make sure that everyone knows about what happened between you and us today. Hold on a second. I, you do something like that to me, I won't even be able to stay in this town ever again. I'm sure that's true. You'll be stuck dealing with the court system for a while after all. What? The court system? What are you talking about right now, Elena? You get what I'm saying, right? I'm going to be suing your ass for what you pulled. After all the insults you've given me before today, and then your attempt at murdering me, I'm going to make sure you pay for all of it. Hold it right there. 
Now you're taking things way too far. This is all something that's taking place within the family, isn't it? Or within the family? I'm not a part of your family, though. I'm just a stranger to you, all right? No, wait. About that. For the time being, please, do not sue me. I'm going to. You really think I can forgive you for all the things you said about my son and my brother? From now on, you and that unemployed brat of yours are going to be on your own. Good luck. Good luck? Why would you say something like that? Thomas made sure to have a closer look into Jack for me. He happens to be addicted to gambling right now and is in a whole lot of debt because of it. And on top of all that, he's been cheating on me with at least three different women now. What? Along with what I have on you, I'm also going to be taking him to court and getting a very large settlement from him. When that happens, Jack is going to be pretty much useless to you as well, right? Jack Winton, are you telling me the truth right now? I sure am. And all of that money he lied to you in order to borrow, he put into the casino, as well as into his other women. And the funny thing is, all of that money you've been lending to him after he'd asked came from the allowances I'd give you at the start, right? Yes, that's correct. And that's why so much of the money that was given to me vanished. That's why I had to start going into debt myself, having nothing to use to pay off my bills. Really? I don't work either. And with Jack always coming over asking me for money while crying, all my money slowly went away. And I was never able to get it back. Is that right? Well, it's too bad for you then, isn't it? Too bad for me? It's because you went and used up all of his savings that he had to come to me, looking for money that he could use to enjoy himself. Wait, what? You're still thinking something like that to be true? Jesus Christ. I showed you the evidence, woman. The one that has been using all the money in this house has been your son. I will not believe that. My son could never be that kind of monster. Honestly, I don't give a damn if you believe me or not. Later on, you'll be seeing me again in court, and there the judge will help explain to you the truth. Also, pretty soon here, all of your family and friends will stop trusting in you and Jack as well, and then it'll be down to you two to figure things out. They are all backstabbers. Being a part of the same family, you're doubting my son and I. I haven't lied about a single thing. But Lilia, you said this all yourself, right? If the parent is a liar, that makes their kid one as well, right? Therefore, if the kid is a liar... Wouldn't that also make their parent one as well? You don't have to thank me for any of this. By the way, when it came to that old annoying bitch, she went on and on about being the head of that family, when in reality, she wasn't crap. Thomas, thank you so much for helping me this time. Well, seeing that she won't be able to survive without the money I've been sending her, that makes sense. What head of the family are you anyway kind of thing? People with prides as massive as hers always end up destroying their lives in the end. By the way, Elena, things worked out perfectly, right? And partially because I came in and screwed up those two men, right? Thank you for that. This was all a part of your plan, right? Hey! You don't really have to call it a plan. I just made sure to place cameras all around your house and do a little bit of deep web research until your husband was all. You were the one that actually put out all the evidence I pulled to work, right? And you acting like a boss about it was so cool. And what are you going on about right now? Had it not been for you, then... Who knows what would have happened to me at the hands of those two killers that Lilia went and hired. I really am so thankful after what you've done for me. I'm alive and well today because of you. I told you before, right? No matter what happens, I'll be there to protect you. Both Lilia and Jack had to confront the family about everything they had learned about those two. And in the end, both of them were disowned and told to screw off. Of course... Since the both of them loved to survive off their prides, they started going back and forth blaming one another for the outcome of having lied. We both were already in extreme debt, but later having to appear in court to pay me settlements without any way of fighting back, we really ended up going to debt hell. This left them with no way of paying for the house Jack's mom had been living in, and soon enough, they were evicted from it and left to the streets while trying to pay off the debt they were in. This also did not help Jack's addiction to gambling, nor his addiction to the women he was going out with behind my back either. And he continued to borrow money, only this time, it was from loan sharks instead of his mother and I. Due to the story about them both spreading throughout the town like wildfire, everyone around no longer trusted the two, and therefore, they could not find anyone who would be willing to spare a little money to help them through hard times. From what I've heard about Jack in recent times, he's been having to dodge the loan sharks who are after him, after not having paid anything back to any one of them yet. I hear that they currently took Lilia hostage and have been hiding her somewhere where they can keep her as leverage for getting that money from Jack once they catch up to him. 
It also appears that Lilia never ended up paying those two men the full amount they had both asked for to go out and try to kill me. I'm sure that when they're both out of jail for what they've tried to do to me, they will be looking for her like the loan sharks are doing going after Jack. But that's only if they can find out where the loan sharks have hidden her, and only if she's still alive by the time the loan sharks have had their ways with her and Jack. Either things end up turning out in the end, it seems that both of their futures are sealed, and there will be no real light at the end of the tunnel for them. But we're both complete strangers to everyone, really, so I'm pretty sure not a single one of us cares. <laughs> After all the bad things that happened, there was one good thing that came out of all of it, and it was a deepened relationship with my brother. As both his sister and a parent of his, I am really proud of everything he had done to protect me this time. I understand that things had to get a little bit violent there between him and those two thugs, but at least he never ended up getting hurt, and that showed me just how much he'd grown. If he continues to protect me in the way he had done then, I think I'll be safe from anything this world has to attack me with. And that makes me very happy. As of right now, I've been living life as a single mother after I was able to get full custody of Cameron after the divorce from Jack. I already have a bunch of experience doing such a thing though, having raised my brother in the past as well from a pretty young age. So, even if this is a bit tough on me now, I know that I'll be alright, and that Cameron will be as well. I am going to work on pulling myself together even further and raising a son who will never have the kind of behavioral issues his father and grandma have. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.